Fresh, ripe tomatoes, the first yield from the Wells Hosa greenhouse farms in Benin City, the Edo state capital. These fruits are a product of innovative technology. This development space is based on hydroponic technology, a method of growing plants in controlled environment, environment using mineral nutrients in water and no soil. In their comments, government agencies say the project will boost Nigeria's exports. The captain has gone into using technology and innovation, and that's why we have greenhouse technology. Uh, so all year round, we're going to be growing tomatoes there. And it's also good because it's at the very standard at which we can also export. The company is ready to make the most of this breakthrough with more ventures. Not just tomatoes is possible in greenhouses, but every other type of crop, depending on the location and the area and the part of Nigeria that we are in. So who knows, maybe berries will be possible, tomatoes will be possible, exotic flowers may be possible in the Mambila plateaus and just plateaus where you have a colder temperature. So this is possible, it can be done, and that is what we've Started. A privilege for some special guests to join in the harvest. The produce are taken to the Oba of Benin Palace for royal blessing. May the Lord God Almighty and our ancestors continue to be with all of you. Uh, bless your efforts, whichever endeavors you want to devil in, dev into. Uh, may you, you know, come out successfully and and they on hand. The management of Wells Hosa Greenhouse Farms foresees a brighter future. I'm seeing more than tomatoes. I'm seeing jobs for the youth. I'm seeing empowerment of our people. I'm seeing food security. I'm seeing exports. I'm foreign exchange to support our GDP. The Wells Hosa Greenhouse Farms currently stands on 27 hectares of land with an output of nearly 4,200 tons per year, an estimated revenue value of $6 million per year.